blast up his nostrils made Fitch feel like he had shot himself in the head. A burning sensation that crawled all over his scalp and brain. He swore he could feel the drug clutch the back of his skull and dissolve a bit of gray matter. It took a full two minutes before he could open his tear-filled eyes and survey the land that lay out before him. Hmm, I may not have to catch him. Fitch became excited and bolted toward the pile of equipment strewn about the gravel. He had packed a crystallized reconnaissance sniper rifle with a special scope. It was designed to deal with atmospheric perspective. He clicked open the metallic case and started to assemble the intricate parts. Made of a special metal derived from melting meteoric glass, a smooth and slightly transparent gun was gilded with gold alloy fittings and reinforcements. It was truly a beautiful piece of equipment, like everything else here on North. It had been decided early on by the Constants that everything made on this planet would be carefully thought out and constructed in an intrinsically artistic fashion. The latest technology in the most ancient sacred geometry, the divine ratio, for example, were to imbue most functional items, including architecture. The scope slid into place with a sturdy click, and a once-over told Fitch she was ready to fire. He scrambled up a boulder overlooking the terrain and the dip into the wide valley. He lay just like a little green army man, feet shoulder width apart, left elbow supporting the gun, eye on the scope, scanning the horizon.